I'm Mr. Priscilla and today we're going to be graphing on the, in the rectangular coordinate system in our college algebra classes and I want to demonstrate some graphing tools that you'll be using in my math lab. So here's our first equation we're going to graph. It says give ordered pairs that are solutions and graph the equation. Well, this is something all of you have done before. You're going to be given numbers that you plug in. Here it's saying, okay, plug a zero in for x, figure out y. So what number would I put there? If you plug a zero in for x, we have 4y equals 5 times 0 is 0, minus 20 is just a negative 20, divided by 4. And we'll get y equals negative 5. So punch in negative 5. And now it's given us another line on the xy table. Here it says plug a 0 in for y. If I plug a 0 in for y, 4 times 0 equals 5x minus 20. I need to figure out x, so add 20. Divide by 5, and we'll get x equals 4. Oh, okay, so now we have two ordered pairs. Realize that each of these is an ordered pair that's on this line. And this is a linear equation because there's no exponents on it, no square root symbols. So in order to graph a line, we're going to use one of the, or in order to graph any of these, we're going to use these tools down here. And I've already said that this is a line. And so you can sort of tell right there is the line tool. And if you just... So first you click the line tool. All of these, if you hover your mouse over it, it'll tell you the name of it. Here, click the line tool. And now, when you move around up here, you've got to plot up this first point. Over zero, down five. Now we need to plot another point. Right four, up zero. So I plotted over zero, down five, right four, up zero. I'll say check answer. That's using the line tool. We're just going to click the line tool and then plot the two points. I think number five is another using just the line tool. So let's use a diff, do a different one now, one that doesn't just use that same line tool. Let's look at number six. Okay, so this is number six. Y equals X squared minus four. We're gonna fill in this table. Notice we're given values for X. Plug a negative two in for X. Plug a zero in for X. Plug a positive two in for X. Okay, so if we plug a negative two in for X, Negative 2 times negative 2 would be a positive 4. Minus 4 is 0. Now we plug a 0 in for x. 0 squared is 0. Minus 4 is negative 4. And finally, plug a positive 2 in. 2 squared is 4. Minus 4, there's another 0. So 
we plug these numbers in. Zero, negative four, zero. Check it. Now this time, I think I'm going to blow up the graph when I do this. It makes it easier to see. And then the tools are over here. Now, which tool are we going to use? Well, again, if you hover, we'll say the name line tool. You're not going to use the line tool. How do we know it's not a line? Because there's this exponent in it. In fact, this is an x squared. This second one, the V-shape absolute value tool. There's no absolute value for us. Look at this one. Three point quadratic. Remember quadratic, that's what we call those uh, algebraic expressions that have the x squared in them. So this one's the one we're gonna use. Three point quadratic. I like click, I like um, blowing it up the way I did because now it's talking you through. Click the graph to plot the first point on the curve. Well, okay, the first point, negative two, zero. Look up in the upper right hand call, uh, right hand corner right here. It'll tell you the point. Negative two, zero. Then now let's plot the second point. Over zero, down four. Now let's plot the third point, right to a zero. Now on this one I have, since I've blown it up, I've got to say save it. It'll put it right here. And now you can check your answer. That's a three point quadratic. Um, seven is multiple choice, eight. Oh, number eight. Number eight is an absolute value equation. Y equals the absolute value of x minus nine. We have the little xy table. Okay, so let's first of all plug a negative two in. Be careful when you do that. You plug a negative two in for x. Negative 2 minus 9 would be negative 11. But don't put negative 11 here because you've got to take the absolute value. The absolute value of negative 11 is positive 11. Now, let's plug a 9 in for x. We're going to nine in. What number are we going to have inside those absolute value bars? Nine minus nine, zero. The absolute value of zero is zero. And then finally, 11. Plug an 11 in for x. What number will we have inside the absolute value? 11 minus 9 is 2. The absolute value of 2 is 2. Now we're going to graph it. The graph of an absolute value function or an equation like this with absolute values is going to be a V-shaped figure. It'll either be a V-shaped opening up or it could be opening down. A V-shaped figure. Now, that's going to be this tool right here, the one that says absolute value. But be careful, once you click on it, read the instructions up there. You're not just going to plot all three of the points. It says, okay, plot the vertex. The vertex is that center point. The vertex, and that's the one you plot first. Graph, 
We're going to plot that right nine at zero first. You don't just go in the order that we did when we were graphing the three point quadratic. So right nine at zero. Now it says, click the graph to plot another point. I'm going to plot one of these points, either negative 2, 11, or 11, 2. So on this tool, it's different. You plot the middle point first, and then plot one of the other points. Uh, left 2 up 11. Left 2 up 11. Am I at let negative 2, 11? No, I'm at negative 3, 11. How do I know that? Look in the upper right corner of the yellow box. Negative 2 up 11. There. Now I'll say save it and check it. I'll get pin number 9. Oh, let me erase this. Come over here. negative 1 in for x, a 0, a 1, and a 2. So plug in a negative 1 in for x. Negative 1 cubed. Negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 is negative 1 plus 6. That's a 5. Now plug in a 0 in for x. That's pretty darn easy. 0 cubed plus 6 is just 6. What about plugging a 1 in? 1 cubed is 1, plus 6 is 7. Plugging a 2 in, 2 cubed. Don't say 6. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, plus 6. That's a 14. Punch in. 5, 6, 7, 14. Now I'm going to graph it and let me blow this up. Okay. If you look at the names, lie, no, there's an exponent. It's not an absolute value. It's not a quadratic. Let's look at this cube. Four point cubic cube. See, there's an x cube, so that's the one we're going to use, and it's called a four-point cubic. We have four points, and this is one where you just plot the four points. Boom, 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 boom. Doesn't, you know, there's not like the absolute value where you first have to plot the vertex. So I'm going to plot left one at five. Oh wait, I gotta say there. Left one at five. I plotted the first point. Over zero up six. There's the second point. Right one up seven. And right two up fourteen. Plotted all four of the points. Now I'll say save it and check it. Uh, so if you have just a few more minutes, I think I'll go back and do one more. Number five is a line. Let's do number five. This is just one of the line, you'll use the line tool. Three x plus two y equals six. Notice 
Here it's written as ordered pairs. It's saying, okay, plug a zero in for X, figure out Y. If you put a zero in for X, you got two Y equals six, divide by two to get Y equals three. Oops. I don't know what the next point is going to be. So, uh, three. Okay, now it says plug a zero in for y. We put a zero in for y. We get x equals three. Excuse me, x equals two. And when I click, uh, for our graph number four, I didn't do the little magnify and bl blow it up. So I'm gonna show it that way. Now this is a line tool, and this talks you through. Okay, click the one of the points, over zero, up three. Right there. Now plot the second point, right two, up zero. Save it. Check it. Okay. So hopefully you have time to work on this and practice with these graphing tools that are here with my math lab. These are some very nice graphing tools. You have the line tool, the absolute value tool, the three-point quadratic tool, and the four-point cubic tool to practice with. And the next time we'll, we'll be using the circle tool and graphing some circles, okay? Thank you and thanks for watching.